it is human nature, at first we will use our ways to deal with our difficulties, because we think that we are total in charge our life. Once we find out we don't have abilities to fix these problems, then we will become anxious and panic. When we come to dead end, then even unbelievers will seek God for help. If we know how to give the total control of our life to true God, that is faith. There is a story about faith in the Bible book of Matthew 8 23 to 27, Mark 4 35 to 41 and Luke 8 22 to 25. Three of gospel books all tell the same story, it must be important, and it teach us how to handle our faith during our difficult time. In the Bible, ship symbolizes the church and Christian life, sea symbolizes the world, the ship travels in the sea, it is like church and Christian travel in this world. Jesus and his disciples travel through Lake of Galilee on a boat, but suddenly they encounter furious storm and big waves. Matthew 8:25 The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. If we only looks at the external winds and waves, we will feels that God is absent from our life. But it's not because God is ignoring, it's because we lack of confidence of our faith. Matthew 8:26, he replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Disciples only paid attention to the winds and waves in front of them, and forgot the words the Lord had told them to cross over lake earlier. A timid person is someone who doesn't know the Lord and forgets the Lord's words, this kind of person only looks at people and circumstance, so they are afraid of people and things, but they forget our God always walk with us. Mark 4:39. He got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet! Be still! Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. Quiet. Be still, is the words which Jesus said to the winds and waves. Quiet. Be still, is the words which our God said to everyone, and let us to know he is God. Matthew 8:27. The men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. The wind and the sea have no personality and consciousness, but the Lord rebukes the power in the air behind the wind and the wave, and the evil spirits in the sea. Our Lord is a divine king, nature, and all things must obey him, the ghosts hiding behind the environment must obey him also, because his power is above Satan and evil spirits. All the origin of problems that happen inside and outside of the church and Christian are caused by Satan and his followers. But suffering gives us a deeper understanding of Jesus, who is he, it is just like Job once heard of God, but saw God with his own eyes after suffering. Pain and suffering just like the winds and waves which come to our life unexpectedly. People who truly know the Lord and know how to grasp the Lord's words, the greater the storm outside, the greater their confidence inside. The winds and waves outside not only could not blow away their faith, but eventually the winds and waves were calmed by their faith. Jesus said to people repeatedly, Just believe, don't be afraid or your faith had saved you, this is Jesus' promise to Christian. If we want to be saved, then we need faith to believe there is a God who can save us. We believe Christianity, because we trust Jesus can save us from death of sin. 
Nowadays, people care about the things they can see, find some friends and go on to the broad way to do worldly things. Much less people will care about spiritual things which we can't see, sometime go alone and go on to the narrow way to work for God's kingdom. It is a human nature to seeking the easy way to live their worldly life, but don't have interest to seeking the future eternal life. Human use physical sense to see, hear, smell, taste and touch, but God is the spiritual being, we can't feel he is existed by our five senses, and have to use sixth sense, faith, to know he is existed. Christianity belief is based on God, it is not about us. Is our faith will grow stronger if God give us all the goodies? Or is our faith will grow stronger if God walk with us in the midst of suffering? Religious and philosophers say to believers, This is the way. Only Jesus say, I am the way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Trust in our God, He will not fade away, He is everlasting. Trust in our God, He will not let us down, He can lift us up. Trust in our God, He will not disappoint us, He will bring us joy. Trust in our God, He will not hide from us, He will lead us to right path. Trust in our God, He will not forsake us, He will give us life and strength. The true God we trust is Creator, Provider, Protector, Counselor, Comforter, Savior, and our Lord, Father God, Jesus and Holy Spirit, Triune God, is the Master of Universe and Beyond. Don't be afraid and trust Him. Faith can put fear away, and for our unknown future, we don't need afraid to trust a known God.